well 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 good morning facebook how's everybody doing i saw the verdict and it was justifiable i don't even really think the indictment was justifiable because they indicted him on shooting in the other apartments man listen i think the indictment was fair i think that it was righteous i don't think no other officer should have been brought up on charges because what mainstream media you know what the news is not telling nobody about this Breonna Taylor case is that they let the warrant out the warrant has her name on it they have jail records of her on the phone because anybody who's ever been to jail or anybody who's ever received a call from jail knows that those phone calls are recorded you know how I know? Because the first thing they tell you is this is a call from jailhouse from inmate such and such and such. Please understand that these phone calls are recorded. And because the phone calls are recorded, she is caught on the recording about drug deals with this dude going to pick up dope for this dude. And then the other dude that they claimed they had the warrant for, who they claimed that was already arrested, he is on there saying in the same phone conversation with the other guy saying that Breonna Taylor is moving the dope for him. They set up surveillance outside of her house. She was not an EMT worker. She lost her job a whole year before behind a murder that took place. So the city let her resign. They kept watch on her after the murder. So I'm confused. Or why we burning and marching. Shooting at the police. Like we done lost our minds. Then y'all got crybaby ass LeBron. LeBronda James on TV. Talking about how all oh, this is so upset. And this is so sad. Well. Usually the police don't mess with you unless you bring the police to you. And after almost a year of investigation, phone call tapping, listening to phone calls, planning cameras, investigating, sitting outside her crib, watching folks go in and out while this nigga locked up. So who's selling the dope? Body cam footage come out. That they would never show on regular TV. The police had a no knock warrant. But yet they knocked anyway. And now he said he thought somebody was robbing the crib. Listen. What robber you know going to knock at your door? What robber is going to knock at your door? I don't know a nigga who commit robbery that's gonna knock at your door before they come in to commit robbery. So you shot through the door. Yeah. Uh, have a look over your car for the brakes, and we will recommend a brake first. The brake first is like 129, but it's on sale for $59.99 right now. So uh, other than that, yeah, it keeps the, the path from did I have to change the road this? Uh, let me give a right. So, I don't know nobody who knocks at the door. If I'm here to commit robbery, we were not knocking at your door. We just kicking your door in and we shooting the first thing that's moving. I'm confused. The police had a no not warrant, but they still knocked on the door. They still identified themselves as the police. So I'm confused as to what's really going on in America this morning. 
I'm confused of why everybody upset. I'm confused of why they done shot two police officers in Kentucky. I am confused of why y'all are burning down cities behind a chick that was out here selling dope for a dude that was locked up who the police did with their job. If anything, we should have sympathy for the police officer that got shot. You mad because nobody got indicted on murder charges? Nobody should have got indicted on murder charges. Was it unfortunate she lost her life? It was. Because if the idiot would have never shot through the door, they would have never returned fire. Breonna Taylor would have never lost her life. She would have went to jail, but she would have never lost her life. So instead of blaming the police, how about we blame the idiot that shot at the police? Because this is not the police fault. Remember that.